So we find ourselves in a weird position. Uh, less money than last year. Arguably even perhaps a word squad, certainly less depth. And with all of that, we're supposed to do exactly the same or better than last year. Nice and easy, eh? So by the end of today, I think we'll have a pretty good idea as to whether we're actually going to do that. As always, if you have been enjoying the series, drop a like on the video. That would be bloody fantastic. And since it is the start of the week, it's time to thank the new patrons. And this week, it is Yolfi. Thank you so much for that. And thank you to everybody over there as well uh, for allowing me to keep doing it on YouTube, as well as trying out things uh, like this series. Uh, you really are what makes this possible. So thank you, everybody that watches the videos and uh, everyone that drops them likes. And we face against odds. Uh, now, they won their first game. We lost our first game. We were terrible. Uh, there's just no two ways about it. But... I don't know if it's a fair litmus test. It is Mulder, after all. We were missing a few players, had to do some stuff. We cannot get off to the same start statistically that we did last year. If we have any hopes of finishing where we did, <laughs> we just need to be in a good spot by the time European games roll around because there will be fixture congestion that we didn't have last season. It's going to be difficult, but if we could start off today with a win and push on from there, hey, who knows? Happy days may lie ahead. Thankfully, of course, uh, we can bring some people back in. Now, of course, on the other side of that, we are now missing both Riedningen and Santos. Not the end of the world when you see what we can do now. So we do a selection advice here. Indistad picked up a slight knock uh, in training, but he's now fine again, which is nice. Uh, still wanted by a thousand clubs, but uh, you stay in here, Michael. I definitely can't see that causing any problems this season. Uh, once again, my assistant is obsessed with putting them. I've had a look at their feet. <laughs> Because I'm weird like that. And they definitely have the right feet to play in these positions like that. It's kind of odd. As for the bench, um, wow. That's one thing I forgot to do uh, in the week remaining there was to uh, not put those other guys in. You can really see the depth it is, I think, part of the problem this year. We lost a lot of squad players and were unable to replace them. Uh, even with new contracts, it would have been extremely difficult because a lot of the squad players, were, they were retiring players. And that's been the biggest issue. I've now moved up any players that were from that sort of uh, list of players that were really good, but young and high quality into the first team squad. Most of them won't be ready to play today because they would have played other games, but now they shouldn't have this problem in the future. I, for one, am extremely concerned about the lack of depth this season. However, what I would say is this. We've had last season a lot of older players that could come in as throughout the sort of one to one and a half to two star level. This year, really, it's going to be the same, except they're going to be young players that were doing it. And I'm actually okay with that. There will be mistakes from them because their mentors won't be as good. But I feel like blooding some young players this year could be kind of fun, particularly in the cup games. And it's always going to be a difficult year for us. But if we can get anywhere near to where we were last year while playing in Europe, I will be happy. What could be the death knell for us is were we to have an absolutely torrid European campaign and start to really fall off the pace in the league as a result of the way the club is right now. Uh, that might be the... Um, the, the, the alarm bells to suggest perhaps an exit at the end of the season type of situation, really. But we will see. Particularly as I think we really could walk into pretty much any job now. Uh, Bruland, to the edge of the box. Loads of bodies in the way. Should be okay. Oh, it's offside. Indistad's making a run and he's actually got through. Indistad's in. He can't... Oh my... <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's like he's tried to chip it. It's got blocked to the keeper's like, mm, I volley it now. Uh, okay. This is the face of a man hoping that that's not a sign of things to come this season. Very, very slow indeed concerningly slow, but Bamba's into the box. Oh, he's gone through. Oh, what a brilliant piece of play from Valdo Bamba. Second goal of the season for him. That is a very, very nice piece of football. One thing I hate is being in this sort of position possession-wise where we've got, oh, and Vedegord. I mean, that, again, good. Needs to be a goal though. Yeah, they're standing off of us. This is exactly what we like. In games like this, when teams just sit off of us and allow us to play through the lines, it's it could be a gold mine in matches. Indistar, Bamba's in behind again. He could just shoot here and he does and it's nearly in again. Santos, don't know what his crossing's like, but guess we're going to find out. Indistar, what a block that was. Into the channel, maybe? Here we go. Indistar, Bamba's in behind again. Loads of space. He's got himself set and he's drilled it over the bar. Well, half time, and I think we've definitely just about edged it. And I say a 1-0 kind of fair. What we're doing really well is controlling possession. And when we're winning, there's really no to push too hard. We just want to make sure that we get the result at this point, get that confidence back. Although Brulin's had a good game for them. Obviously, we can adjust things in the second half should they start to get involved in the game a little bit more and we need to create. But at the moment, I'm actually kind of just happy with us playing the ball around nice and slowly and sitting on this 1-0 lead because we are still creating opportunities by doing this, just by being patient with them. As Rakic bombing in from midfield, oh, he just needs to take that on. That's what the board wanted as well, a heavy possession-based style of football. And we're certainly doing that today. This is a nice build-up too. Oh, Indistad. It's a great idea, lovely effort, but just wide. We're not committing lots of fouls. We're just doing the simple stuff right. Rakic, Bamba, lots of bodies forward again. Oh, we can sit around the side. He does. It's Vergara. 
It's a good save again. And Indy stand on the rebound. Blocked again. A couple of slight tweaks just to freshen up the legs in our midfield. Keep that running energy going. Dira. Uh, Blad's header and it's in. We've scored a corner goal in the second game of the season. Thomas Blad trumps a two. Odds nil. And this has been exactly the kind of performance I wanted to see from us tonight. Forcing them out wide again. And oh, what a save from Matthias Johansson. First time he's been called into action today. And he does a great job. Christensen to Solskjaer. Can he slip this? Oh, what a lovely touch. <laughs> Holy crap. Centre back up front. Doing a great job there. Santos. Scoops it in. Solskjaer. Oh, he should have scored. Just survive. One more set-piece play. Get that clean sheet for your young keeper, lads. He needs it. Oh, and he's, well, he's done it himself. Well done, Mateus. Good work. Tromsa 2, odds nil. That's the final score. First game or first win of the season in our first home match. Just control the possession. Once we took that early lead, I didn't feel the need to change anything towards tempo because I felt that we could just hang on to possession and just slowly wear them down for the rest of the match. And that's exactly what we did. Getting that set-piece goal in there too. Really, really strong performance as well. Happy with that. Uh, even got a chance to freshen the midfield up at times, which was nice. All of a sudden, things look a little bit better. We move up to fifth place in the league. Obviously, Bran and Mulder are the two sides that have won both games so far, but nobody else has. So it's a good start. Positive goal difference on the board. Much better going forward today. Kind of match direction. Still a little bit under, but pretty good for the most part. Happy with that. I thought I'd spare you endless highlights of our evening in Vag, where we managed to win by a goal to nil with a very, very rotated side in the cup. Um, probably should have scored a hell of a lot more goals in this one, but I was content with just kind of leaving it as it was, as long as we got the result. Uh, golf my corner. That was literally it. So we move. We could get caught out through the middle. Traustason against Johansson, and it's 1-0 to Frederikstad. The newly promoted side take the lead against us. Exactly what we didn't want today. I figured we'd have the better than system-wise, but they've taken the lead. Rakic delivers one. Good header on the end of it. It's Michael Indistad. Levels things up on the 20th minute. Not who I expected to get on the end of that, but after that miss a minute ago, he deserves that goal. Nice, Indistad. Rakic. Better on the side for Indistad. He's got to pull this across. He does. Bamba! And it's 2-1 to Tromsa. Valder Bamba in the right place. Right time. Frederikstad 1. Tromsa 2. And we've turned it around. Come on, lads. Nice work. Oh, no. Please. Oh, cleared off the line by Lewistein, and now Jonsson brings it clear. We've got th four on one. If we don't score or get a shot away from this, I'll be livid. Bamba, he's into the box. He just has to get us back on his correct foot and slot it home. It's 3-1 to Trom, so Valdo Bamba makes it 3-1. Just the four on one breakaway off the corner. We have another highlight here. Rakic, surely there isn't another one here. Ball in. And there is another one. It's Michael Indistad. Frederikstad one, Troms a four, and Indistad grabs himself another one. What a very strange ending to that match with the four and one breakaway, then followed up by another goal in the fourth minute of stoppage time after there being only three, but obviously the celebrations for the second goal extended it. Uh, that is a very good performance. Indistad got a 10 out of 10. Did he assist both of Bamba's goals as well? Either way, that was bloody stunning. We're up to third in the league, two wins in a, on the, in about in a bounce. Two wins on the bounce now. Uh, plus four goal difference now. This is good news. We're actually starting to perform finally like the team that I feel like we can be. Both strikers firing like crazy today against the Frederikstad side that had actually done okay in their first couple of matches. And we've gone and got ourselves a nice juicy away win there too. Very nice start. Happy with that. Other good news. Matthias Hansen has signed a new deal. Uh, we had to get him on a brand new contract because his contract was going to expire at the end of next season. And I just felt like we desperately needed this to be done. That's the most I could get him on at the moment in terms of length of deal, but we had to do it. So we did actually win against the Thurmsga set on this ground last season. Come from 2-0 down, if I recall, as well. Indistad, run us off a Bamba. He's going to have to shoot from range. I feel... Oh, it's in! The keeper's made an absolute hash of it. Thurmsga set nil. Thurmsga won, and Bamba scored another one. That's five, I think, already this season for Valdo Bamba. What a start. This is a long way out for Michael Indistad. Oh, but it doesn't matter. It's Stromska set nil. Tromsa two. And Indistad is scoring free kicks now. The man with eight finishing is banging those in from distance. Go on, lad. But the breakaway is not yet over. Aus. Oh, it's a great effort. Sivar Aus. Incredible effort from the edge of the area. Johansson just couldn't see it. Bamba and Indistad again scoring a goal each. We let a sort of cheeky one in. I think just about edged it on the night. But again, we've managed to overperform our XG. And this was with a very tired side. I made some changes midway through the second half that I would say weakened the team, but it saved a bit of legs. And we're going to need those legs for the next game as well. And that's the issue. It's very congested right now. And we're somehow plowing on through incredibly. Because that now sends us into second spot in the league. The only team we've lost to this season is the team directly above us, Mulder. So really, about the perfect start for us, I would say. Maybe if we'd got a draw against Mulder, but they were looking very good in that game. I mean, odds. Look at that. They're second in the league. The team we comfortably dispatched already today are second in this division. This is this team has got something, or it certainly tactically does. This has been poor from us today. Reedningen. Oh, very good. Oh, hang on. There's the ball through. Bamba's in. The keeper's going to get there, is he? Y yes, actually, he is. Oh, disappointing. Bamba should have scored. Conte again. He oh, good tackle on Conte. Nice. Got a bit complacent on the ball that time. And it's through. Bamba with one touch and doesn't score. The youngster. What a pass to Indistad. Flicks it through for Bamba. This time, surely he can finish it. 
Oh my god. But we are going to be missing... Well, we've had to put Indistar to center back because he's got a bit of aerial presence, really. That's the only way we could get around it. Conte, there's a man free in the box. No! What a stop from Mateus Johansson. The youngsters just bailed us out of point. Thromsen nil, Orlison nil. We should have probably won this game. Started a bit slow, massively better in the second half, but the late injury to Lewis Stein uh, really kind of screwed us a little bit. Uh, we had our chances. Bamba went through Klingon goal at least three times in this one and managed to fluff every single one of them. Uh, but another clean sheet, which is good news for Johansson. Had a good game, made a great stop towards the end, but that should have been a victory for us, really. It's a little bit signs of last year, but still. So we do actually stay second in the league with that. Uh, Tom's, sorry, not Tom's. Mulder hammering Frederickstad 7-0. I think they're going to win the league this year and our best bet is just to try to do it to try to get second again really and just try to fight with everybody else but so far just the one defeat uh, a ton of clean sheets in there too defensively looking really stable again which is nice and looking a bit better going forward today just was a bit of an off day hopefully that injury isn't too serious though twisted ankle that's not ideal uh, for someone like Lewis Dean, one of our better players. So comfortably threw in the cup in the end. Well, I say comfortably. 2-1 uh, in the end. Uh, Tinkinen got his first goal for the club and then Anderson grabbed one late. Oh, we did concede one annoyingly. Uh, so no clean sheet for Johansson on the night, but still solid performance. We're through and uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep playing the youth squad in the cup matches, honestly, no matter who we're up against because we have so many more important things to be doing this year. We won the cup last year. That's passe. And annoyingly, we will play start in the next round of the cup, which could well be where we bow out at this rate. I'm hoping the ball won't care too much. They probably will though. Gomez now to Jonsson. Again, playing it through a tight area in the middle, but we're often finding chances. Bamba's in this time. Can he square it around the goalkeeper? And it's a brilliant finish. Tromsa one, Volerenga nil, Valdo Bamba on the end of it. We need to make up for that poor result against Orlison. And if we grab another win, wow, Grunbeck delivers it. And it's a penalty, and now we have a chance to surely seal it. It will be Anderson. I think he won the penalty, and now he'll take it. That's a great penalty. Tromsa 2, Volarenga nil, and it is going to be another win for the season. I think the game management is really what's improved this year. Uh, yeah, just about deserved that result in the end. They're brilliant work from the guys. Um, had about four chances after that penalty, where we could have had two or three more goals, incredibly, but just great all round. As I said, I think the thing that's really made a difference this year is our game management. So... If we take a lead in the first half, and we've not already made tactical switches. I'm also holding off on those a little bit longer than I was last season. That allows us to then just sort of sit on that goal lead, keep the possession and kind of tire the other teams out. In addition, when we've got that one goal later, later on, I'm sort of making moves to even go to a lower tempo, slowly turn that time wasting on sooner and just gradually kill the game off slowly. And today, really, we had more chances after I put time wasting on than I did before. But weird, great result again, though. We don't look like a team to be messed with this season. Us and Rosenborg right up there. Uh, we have to play Rosenborg later on in the video as well but very strong start i mean 13 points from our first six games that's more than two points a game a and that includes a defeat against Mulder in there too every team other than Mulder, we've definitely looked like we had the beating of it's incredible that all of them were actually able to get a point against us that said newly promoted sixth in the league right now one away at odds so they're clearly no pushovers uh unlike frederickstad with the minus 13 goal difference but still uh, that was utterly incredible uh, i wasn't really commentating on it because it was just a cup game and i was expecting this to go out because i played the youth team and then a smattering of like second string first teamers uh we won 3-2 against the top flight side <laughs> tobias christensen with a goal Touringer Berger, but then Steinberg Johansson got a goal as well. This was a relatively strong start side. It does start to feel to me now that what we've actually got here is a good tactical ethos that runs throughout the club and a working tactical style. Because it feels like we can plug in just about any player. With Look at some of the names in this team here. Look, Stockerland, Solskjaer, obviously, but Nordheim. Riedingen was there too. Henriksen, Johansson, Christensen started. I brought even younger players off the bench in this game. We were very, very good considering. And we moved through another round of the cup, which I wasn't expecting, to be honest. And it meant that all of our first team was really much got a chance to have a rest as well. It's perfect. I can't believe that. I love this patient build-up. So good from us. Indistad, right. Now watch his... Oh, never mind. Bamba's in. Great first touch. And it's an easy finish. Haugerson nil. Tromsa one. We've got another early goal. And now hopefully we can just see this game out using our dominance again. This is brilliant from the guys. Rakic raking a ball in. Blads header. And it's another goal from a... Wow, we're actually scoring them this season. 2-0 to Tromsa on the half an hour mark. Blad on the end of it. Great work again. I mean, we are just looking imperious in virtually every game now. This is far more like it from the guys. Uh, that first game against Mulder genuinely does feel like a blip because we were missing so many guys. But I think we've just managed to squad well, keeping everybody fresh and firing. Um, even Berger Hansen, I brought a 15-year-old, I think he's 15, might be 16, off the bench in this one to replace Indistar to give him a rest. And he looked like a duck to water in this squad after his performance in the cup. Immediately came on, improved his rating, set up a couple of chances. This is an exciting team. We actually stay third on account of our goal difference compared to Rosenborg. But look at that, a five-point gap now back to fourth place Bran. 
Uh, we are very much now in the title race. All three of us now level on 16 points. After all the disappointment of that first game of the season, we've not looked back. Uh, what's that? Five wins and a draw all of a sudden out of that now. And we are flying in the league at the moment, beating everyone left and right. I think we've actually now won, what's that? Three or four straight away matches in the league, which was a big problem we had last year in the first half of the season. Now, really not a problem. We're still slightly underperforming XG wise, but we're still just, we're creating even more than we were last season, which is mad. Six games unbeaten since then, two goals conceded. We sit third in the league. We're expected to be second, but it's, you know, we're level on points with the top two. And that's really what matters. We maybe ever so slightly edged out Rosenborg and maybe, well, literally it is a case of if we'd actually scored to our potential over this period, we probably would be ahead of them because our goal difference would be one better or two better in this case, which would see it go above. But it's much of a muchness at this point. Um, we're still underperforming by minus two, but it's not as bad as it could be. And I still think this team is more than capable of picking that up. It's not the levels that we were at last year where I think by this point, we were possibly already getting towards sevens and eights. And I think at one point we got as low as... At one point, I think it went as low as minus 14. It might have even been lower than that. I don't think it was though. That was a bit closer to the halfway stage of the season. So there's still time for it to go horribly wrong, but it does feel better for us. What I would say as well is our defensive setup has been unbelievable. Minus three on that is one of the best in the entire league. So we're definitely right where we should be. And we're level on points with Mulder. And today we play against Rosenborg too. So this is going to be very interesting. You can see that there's definitely a difference in certain areas with this now. So Bamba overperforming. Indistad ever so slightly under, but I still think he can still get going with that. Anderson's done well, uh, ignoring some of these. Yeah, Hansen, obviously that was cup matches too. Uh, Blad's got a couple, which is nice. Christensen's got one. It's not as bad. It's definitely much better than it was before. It's pleasing. I like it. A lot on the line here. We're playing against Rosenborg at home. A win could see us go above them. Mulder host Halgerson. You'd expect them to win, but you just don't know. So tiredness is definitely creeping in, but we've got a nice break after this game. So Vedegir will have to come out. That is for sure. Uh, I'll have a look if there's any other areas we can freshen up. I think that the right man for the job here would probably be Tobias Christensen. He's just a god in that position. Um, but you can see that we definitely, as much as we have tried to manage the squad a little bit, this is like the last one in the cycle. So we may end up having to play a slightly tired team. Now, it's actually been okay before. I did this once more in this cycle and we did still win. So there's definitely a sign there. So I think we're just going to go unchanged. We've got a nice 10-day rest after this. So if we can just get through this game, we'll be dandy. Oh yeah, of course, Vedegaard can't play, can he? Which, that in mind, I'm going to bring Henriksen in because he's another midfielder. That's three youngsters on the bench. Nordheim's 15, Berger Hansen is 16, and Henriksen is 15. And we've obviously got a 16-year-old keeper. This team is stacked with talent. Now, if you remember last season... Um, we had two rather unfortunate results against Rosenborg. We somehow lost by a total of 5-0 against them over the two games. And I would argue that we were at least as good at them, as good as them, over both matches. So very, very odd. Hopefully, though, we can get a little bit of a revenge on them uh, this time around. And a win in this game could be super duper huge. Decent start for Rosenborg, though. But, you know, this team's got quality in it. Christensen with a great tackle in there. And he's found a nice pass to Indistad. Finds Bamba. He's got that athleticism to get into the channel. He might get the shot away here. No, that's fine. Pulls it back. Rakic! Oh, it's already in. 1-0 Tromsø after just, well, one minute. Jesse Rakic. Jesse? 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 Jesse Rakic, 1-0 Tromsø. We're temporarily top of the league. Bamba! Tipped over the bar by Brolin. Beautiful thing is as well, we're in the lead. It's early days. We've got complete possessional control. This is the perfect scenario for us right now. And how we've got our wins a lot of the time in these matches this season is through situations just like this. But now they are level through Roberto Hernandez. And we are going to have to rethink things a little bit because that is a great header. They're just that little bit better than... Well, not a little bit better than us. A little bit better than our opponents lately because that could be costly. Oh, nice work, Nicholas Dieter again. Christensen hops it over the top for Indistad. And now we're on the break. Indistad pulls it across. And Bamba! Good block again. Mjern. What I would say is, since their equaliser, they've suddenly gained a new lease of life. That is not a penalty! Uh, it must have been in the box. I, I think it might have been on the line, which, as we know, is in the box. And we've been in total control. They equalise, and then we just kind of lose our heads for 10 minutes. And now we're going to find ourselves behind with Diamande. And it's an easy one for Rosenborg. And we're just... That was just stupid. Um, Just absolute idiocy from Indistad. He's got his back to goal and going nowhere. Well, the game started off well. Uh, the early goal... Looked very good for the first sort of 25 minutes of this match. Had a few good opportunities. And they hadn't really done a great deal until their equaliser. Which was a great header. Don't get me wrong. And then just giving away a dumb penalty. And really, since then, we've just not really been able to get a stranglehold on this game again. But hopefully the second half, we'll give them a bollocking and see what we can come up with. We're in on a higher tempo. We're going to turn on the mixed crosses in the second half. Uh, might do play through the middle, but not till later. They are starting to look vulnerable through that centre, though. And I think if we can prioritise the centre of the pitch now with passing, rather than using the wide men as much, or certainly prioritising them... I think there's gaps in this Rosenborg side that we can get through the centre. Mjern. Good tackle again. Oh, it's come straight back to him. Disappointing. No, it's through. And it's a good save from Johansson. Well done, son. Grunbeck to deliver this one. Blad is in a bit of space here, you know. 
Oh, and he scored. Tromsa two, Rosenborg two, Thomas Black with the stooping header. And he's really making up for the lack of goals last year. Two all. Come on. Do your mandate. There's a completely free guy in the middle of the box. But luckily, the header has not gone to him. And oh my God, we've actually picked it up from, a, from their corner for once. Bamba, he has to make the right decision here. Finds Anderson. We need the right pass. And the right pass has gone to Janssen, who scores! Stein Berg Johansson, at I think 16 years old, scores in the Elite Assyrian to give us the lead in a game that could mean so much for the title race. Oh my god, what a turnaround. We have got balls this season. The pass actually from Anderson is great. The run from Johansson, but the fact that he just pings this. Keeper's not getting near that. Tromsa three, Rosenborg two. Now we slow it down and slowly bring this out of the game. So over this period, I'm just slowly but surely notching the tempo down, going for set pieces, turning up time wasting more and more and more as the game wears on to just slowly take the sting out of it. That's what we've done so many times this season. Grunbeck now with the ball in. Can we grab another one? No, but there's actually a chance on the breakaway potentially for Rosenborg. They've left a lot of players up the pitch, um, which is, oh, this could be a problem. We've got bodies coming back. It's grand. Do not foul him. Good block. Great defending. <laughs> Tromsa three, Rosenborg two. The youngster comes up Trump's late on for us, and there it is. A win that sends us top of the Elite Assyrian, I think. What a turnaround. The goals from Blab with the corner. We Firstly, we didn't deserve to win this game, but I take that as revenge for last season and Rosenborg scamming us out of points. But nevertheless, uh, what a turnaround. To go in front, lose the lead, and then come back like that with the youngster scoring the winner. What a moment for his career, that is. The guy just does things. I put him in the team, and he's able to do things. He's not even a striker. He's actually a right winger. So there we go. Tromsa, top of the Elite Assyrian after eight matches. Plus 10 goal difference, 19 points on the board. Lose the opening game of the season, and then I've gone what? What is that? Six wins and a draw since then? That is pretty bloody good. Uh, we are right up in there. Mulder losing as well. Oh no, drawing against Haugesson. We beat in Rosenborg at home. That is a big, big win for us. Did we deserve it? No, but... You know what? Sometimes you need a little bit of that, and it was nice for us to finally level ourselves out on the goal-scoring side of things. Calais had been analysing his options. He suspected coach Robert Topol might have something to hide. Since the start of the new season, things had improved massively in front of goal. One of the most noteworthy changes was the removal of Jakob Windholm. He was often in coaching groups administered by Topol. Surely he couldn't have been missing on purpose. What a start. And next episode... Almost certainly, we'll be seeing some Champions League action in there as well. So if we can get ourselves nice and comfortable in the European places and in this title race, when those Champions League games come around, my God, what a team, what a fun team we have actually got here. And I think there's a great tactical basis underneath this now for the future too. I think this is something that can definitely make teams play above themselves. And this year, we're just proving that. What a win that was. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, I really hope you have. Drop a like on the video. That'd be lovely. If we could get like 300, that'd be lovely as well. I don't know how much we normally do, actually. It might well be more than that. So if it is, then I don't know, try four. <laughs> anyway, I stream on Twitch Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. So go follow there too. And I will see you guys very soon for hopefully some Champions League shenanigans for the first time in this save. I'll see you soon. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye-bye.